hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i know you guys will be wondering why i put up this video on uh, on my page on my channel i mean well i this is a video on um the birthday the last birthday of um, the only of ife last year october or yeah sometime october Queen Naomi was the person that organized this birthday party for the Oni of Ife. And um, everything seems to be okay. Everything seems to be um, perfect, you know. But along the line, I don't know, we've been wondering what might have gone wrong. You can see that... Um, the only was super happy about his wife and queen naomi just brought out this um surprise for her husband because she appreciates him a lot she gathered everybody and they came to celebrate with the king she prayed she knelt down and she was praying for her husband you know she said a lot of beautiful things, a lot of beautiful words to him, and she even coupled it with a lot of, with some songs. I cannot play this video, you know, for you to hear the sound because of copyright claim, and I have to also give credit to the person that holds the video. So that is why I cannot play the video, but you must have seen it on other channel. But I'm just trying to give some analysis. On this video now you can see the way Queen Naomi she doesn't look like she was going to break the marriage anytime soon and she doesn't look like the king was you know maltreating her she she was praying for him she was honoring him she even called him the husband of my youth like she was she was so in love with him. She was so comfortable with the king. So I don't know why or uh, why it was after the birthday by October. Shortly after the birthday by October, then um, her son celebrated his birthday. I think um, November. Then she posted um, the divorce uh, notice, December twenty twenty one. You can see her dancing and, uh, you know, singing for her husband. So I don't know. I know that a lot of things can go on with, even within a day, even maybe even after this party. Something might go wrong and they could not control each other. You know, but looking at this picture, I was like, I just started looking at the, looking at the picture on my own. I was like, what must have happened? The king was just looking at his wife was like, oh. you know, you see love, you see affection between them. Even a, a soothsayer cannot tell that this marriage is going to crash in two months time. The king was really happy. Everybody was really happy. But there was something I noticed here. In this video, just watch the video with me. When Iyalaje took the microphone from Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi's mood went down. This is the almighty Iyalaje that we are, Iyalaje that we are always hearing of. When she took the microphone, the queen's mood became soured. Queen Naomi was not smiling anymore. She wasn't comfortable with the whole thing. There was a way she was, her, her, her face, her facial expression changed when Yalaji picked up the microphone. If you have not noticed this in this video, or this why you have to look at it with me here. And I don't know why Yalaji 
should be in that position, in my own opinion. I think when Naomi was in her mind, she would be saying that, why can't this woman give me some breathing space in this marriage? Why can't she just move away a little so that I can be with my husband? Because she was, at this point, she was forcing herself, even when Yala J was pulling her like the king was um, complimenting her. Yala J was happy. She, all, she almost lifted Queen Naomi up, but Queen Naomi was, she was not really having it. She's someone that tries to hide her feelings, but sometimes the face, the facial expression does not really tell it all. Or the facial expression tells some things that the mind is, is doing. And here yeah, she looked somehow you know, I'm just trying to analyze this picture because of Queen Naomi coming out to to say she doesn't want to be regarded as a queen. She doesn't really look too happy in this video. After her own part of the talking, the rest she was like forcing herself to smile. I think that was what she was doing here. So, I don't know, if you have not looked at this picture or this video in this angle, please, I would advise we look at it. And maybe the problem might, some problems might have been from here. Yeah, she may be, she, maybe she pulled off the party just to, you know, spice up her marriage, but it's like it wasn't working after all. She pulled off this party just to spice her relationship with the king. But I think all her efforts went down the drain. And um, I think that was why she could not be it anymore. I'm just saying my own aspect of the whole video. But and if you look at it closely, you, you will see one or two, or two things. Anyway, guys, if you, if you see one or two things like I'm saying, and you think I am a bit right, I would like to see your comment on the comment section. And... Um, also, if you feel that I am not saying the right thing, I also like to see your comment on the comment section because nobody is, is an island. I might not know. I'm just saying from my own perspective because I'm still wondering what will make them split within a short time after this birthday party. Anyway, guys, I will have to leave you guys because my video is about to come to an end. I will see you in my next video and we will keep digging on why Queen Naomi left the palace. See, we'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.